all right folks we are back testing the iphone 16e apple c1 modem verizon 5g ultra wideband network we are right across the street from crocker park in wonderful west lake ohio on my commute and uh this this uh, uh and what can i say uh this performance is characteristic of what i've been seeing uh repeatedly consistently from this device across multiple carriers, across this specific one in the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband Network, it's not performing well. It is below standard. There are better iPhones and better Androids that are performing way better than this. 179 down, about 12 up. This particular location, up oh, and there, we lost signal. Okay, so that's the second time it's done this. Something is wrong with the SIM, I think. Uh... Oh my god, man. Anyways, the performance is below standard. The performance is below expectation. The performance is bad, generally speaking. I don't know what's wrong, but it is not working well. Uh, I think of what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this SIM back to my iPhone 16 Pro Max, then move it back to the 16E and see if it makes any difference. But as of right now, guys, this is a hard pass. This is a hard no. I would not recommend this phone for use on the Verizon network. Uh, in fact, I can't really recommend it for the AT&T network either. Uh, 127 down, 64 up. Something is wrong with the download right now. It should be doing like six, 700 meg, maybe 800, maybe a gig. Uh, peak throughput should be much faster. Sorry for the road noise. Um, by the way, it's snowing out here, um, here at the end of March. What else is new? We'll have 70 degrees probably in like 24 hours. Yeah, but I, I can't recommend this, guys. Having these kind of troubles and these kind of problems, it has not been performing. It has not been consistent. It has not been good. Like all things that we could be discussing about this phone, and it's all negative. It just hasn't been good. So I can't, I can't recommend this to anyone. I wouldn't recommend it to friends. I wouldn't recommend it to family. Uh, you know, you're praying for an update, some firmware to make it better. I don't know. I feel like that's a fool's errand. Yeah, we should be, we're right next to a cell site, guys. We should be doing gigabit speed. N77 here for Verizon is 140 megahertz of bandwidth along with the rest of it. Uh, they got 20 megahertz of N5. You know, they got a whole gang of LTE. Uh, this is a hard pass. Everything. I mean, even my Pixel 7 Pro, which is like a three-year-old phone. Uh, my iPhone 16 Pro Max. 14 Pro Max performs better than this. Hard pass, hard pass. Just thought I'd share this with you guys, continuing my progress of testing it, and more of the same, more of the same. A hard pass, no, no way, no how, can't recommend it. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, more testing to come. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, we'll see you guys on the next one.